So the next area I figure we're gonna go jump on is gonna be uh, dealing with that battery tray. I know that battery tray has a lot of, uh, I'm not sure if it's fiberglass or Bondo that's down in the bottom of it there, but uh, it's gonna be causing a slight problem because you see that light right there? And I'll stick you guys in there. So you can see there's a light right there. Well, going down lower, down below, is the wires and they ran the, they goobered the wires right into the fiberglass <laughs> lucky me so i, I kind of want to get those two fixtures out of the way so of course you know we're going to be well well known over the top of the wires and all and i wanted to try to cut that back uh to probably within about uh maybe an inch from the wall i'm trying to maintain the outside paint without blowing through it so i figured i was going to go and take this lip back to factory replace it if you could do that one back to factory and then you know of course around there where it's going to the outside of the body I was gonna leave an, uh, an inch hanging over so um, it's gonna fight me a little bit but I figured maybe we can kind of hammer on it and see if it'll start to break up from the bottom and then uh, maybe that stuff will shatter right out of there and we'll get lucky and the wires will free themselves so I'm gonna go let the beatings begin let's see how this works I don't know how much you can see but should I tweak it a little bit? Uh, is that helping? I know this is in your way. But it's not removable. It's coming up like a sheet. That's the problem. It's stuck in the... Sandpaper. So I think that's going to be my the only avenue. The only thing is I'm trying to wail on it. I don't want to start wailing and hit the wires underneath it too, you know? Crusty old cars, crusty old cars, dusty old cars. I was able to beat it enough to get it out of the hole. I do believe it's fiberglass, but uh, it was just gone over rust, so it kind of does bust off fairly easy. Busted off the floor anyway, pretty easy. Let's see inside there. Still got more to get rid of. But. Now that the light's out of the way, I can kind of hammer it. I might even be able to just get, a, get behind it with a plasma cutter and just kind of blow all that right out of there and leave it stay on a piece of metal as long as I'm able to get down to good metal all the way around. And this, there's your wires going right through it. Um, I'm going to start kind of whacking it and see if I can just like bust it off around here. And if it's really kind of grabbing on the wires, I'm just going to leave whatever last little bit is on there. If I, if it won't, but let's see how it kind of comes out. Let me come out. That one's on the surface. That one's easy. That is sandpaper. have it yeah you try it lefty holding the camera so I'm gonna go whack on that a little bit right about there and see if we can free that and then give the floor some uh, some chit kick its ass a little bit get some frustrations out make my knuckles bleed I got the uh, chips off all except for that little one right there so I gotta pick a little bit more Truck was hitting it from the back side. Truck there somewhere. All right. That wasn't so 
so bad was it? Like I need to look where you guys are looking. Yeah, so I'm gonna try trimming. Probably just inside that seam sealer line. Oh, you guys can see. I'm gonna come back with the plasma cutter, see if I can slice it. Right about there on that back wall. I don't know if this stuff will come out of there or not. After I get the pan section out of it, I'll be able to get in there a little bit easier with some tools. Run a wire wheel or whatnot. So, let's make the hole. Clean house room. Oh yeah, it's gonna be noisy. Just so you know. can't tell you how many times I put my gloves on, then I go turn the camera on, and then I go take a glove back off. Turn the camera back on. Alright, let's see if we could do this with you guys looking. And me looking through the, the same kind of hole and one hand in it and, and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can get an arc going first. Where's the throttle? Nope, we got no air. No air. Hold on. I might have killed my tip. I'm gonna find out. Got to plug the air in. And hit the trigger. I made that little spot right there. Let's see how we do now, though. I gotta move you guys so I can continue seeing what I'm doing to go cut that back side, but you get the idea. Let's see if we can beat that sucker out of there. You even got a bigger hammer. I just killed it. I killed it. Killed my wife. Yeah. Whoops. Come on. You wanna? You trying? It's things like that that just annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> so close. It's it's trying. Yeah, like a fireplace. All right. So I took a heat gun and uh, loosened up and scraped out as much of the uh, seam sealer that I could. And now I'm just going to switch over to the wire wheel and I'm trying to clean that flange up all around because that's what gonna, I'm going to have to weld to. And I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to maintain that flange because I don't want to blow through the paint on the outside. If this was a car that wasn't painted, then I would have removed that whole flange and just welded the paint in uh, like the factory was. But again, we're working with what we got. So let me, uh, without further ado, we are going to make a noise. So you have been forewarned.
thick and light. It's been about the last 40 minutes, kind of cleaning up the lip underneath. I can't see it right now. But I also came back and trimmed off the outer lip all the way around on that pan, except for that one right there. That one's going to stay. So uh, trying to fit it. The only problem is that back corner is fighting us a little bit. You can see where I bent that corner up to get it to wrap. It looks like, uh, not sure if it's got a dent right there and it was filled with Bondo. Yeah, I think, I think right there probably has some mud and that panel is pushed in a little further than what it should be. So I'm going to continue to trim that a little bit and once I get that to just, just to drop right in, then we're going to go around and we'll uh, punch a bunch of holes in it for the uh, plug welds and weld to that lower lip. Getting there though. So I got that fit in there pretty good. Uh, nothing's holding it yet. So I want to go around and I want to punch and install a bunch of spot welds, or plug welds rather. So I'm just going to kind of give myself a rough eyeball where I'm going to want to put those. I'm going to try to stay pretty much uh, towards the end of the flange I left underneath just for the sake of not wanting to bake the paint on the about every inch or so we want them that one's no good do over let's go with right there yeah, let's try this lefty right about there there. Oops. And then I'm going to go over to the drill press and I'm just going to, well first I'm going to take a little set, center punch to those guys so they have a dimple and then I'm just going to go over to the drill press. Can you guys see? I can't see. See, like right there. I gotta make sure I can be able to get in there with a welder too, you know. Let's go for one right there. We'll stop on that corner. That should do it. It's gonna drilled out. So I got all that drilled out. If I get you guys right in there. Hold on. All right. So there are all those holes are drilled out. And then I took some self tappers, and every third or fourth hole is a self tapper kind of hole in it, except for where the, the flange is. The flange I was just able to use vice grips. With that kind of holds it all down in place so that it's not hovering. And then once I get those all plug welded, I'll come back, zap the screws back out, and fill where the screws are. And uh, that should give us a fairly stout base. Uh, I'm not going to show you the welding, but I uh, just want to give you the idea what the process is as we're going along. And that flange has all been cleaned underneath with a uh, uh, roll lock wheel, too. So the metal where the uh, spot welds are, uh, plug welds are, are. Uh, the material down below it's uh, nice and clean and the same with the pan the pan after i drilled it i cleaned uh, the holes on the bottom i cleaned, cleaned the holes on the top to uh, get us back to bare metal also so everything's all welded on top and i've kind of gone around with a uh, flap a little flapper disc on an angle grinder and uh, whatever ones i can smooth off the heads i did and now i'm just kind of moving underneath it looks pretty good but and if you guys can see there's a bit of a gap right there it's probably about an eighth of an eighth inch of a gap or so so i figured i'd come underneath with a hammer and some different type of bars and i'll see if i can just kind of run some, something up there and just kind of tap that up flush before it uh, gets seam sealer and that way it just kind of you know matches the the pan aesthetically I think you get the idea. The rest of it actually looks pretty good. Let's see what that side looks like. Yeah, that's they put a little bit right there in the back. That seam looks pretty good. 
and then that of course is the flange going straight up and again I'm going to take the seam sealer hit all that I said that about 10 times already Show the top you want to go see up top that's up top okay, climb right in there so she ain't the prettiest which is pretty strong and that's what we're looking for and no damage to the outside you didn't blow the paint off anywhere so i'm wrapping up for the day i forgot where it was for you guys so i guess we're going to do a, a wrap up together and we'll call this the end of it so inside there has been all seam sealed and in the light using my headlight we'll try to feather how much of that you see all right uh, it's a brushable seam sealer, meant for this kind of stuff. And just try to keep the crap from getting up inside the uh, the nooks and crannies, causing rust, you know. So I want to let that set up for a while. And oh, I added another patch to the bottom. I don't know if I showed that. I wasn't crazy with that. Uh, the condition is where that mouse nest was, so I went and did the same that I did here. I did down here. So. That's it. We uh, have a new flywheel coming. Main seal. Uh, kind of dealing with gas tank straps a little bit. We're probably going to end up repairing what we got and then using something for um, felt to go around it, something to rub on. So that's still in the process. And what else? I'm trying to get this part of it done, concentrating on this so that I have time to get paint on it, let it kind of dry before I'm, you know, back trying to assemble stuff and be over the top of stuff sticking to me. Nothing worse than putting a motor in and trying to not mush the paint. So that's it. Again, everybody, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you later. Later.